Welcome back our distinguished VIPs. This is the Concierge, here to continue with how the fanciful 4 stars hotel and above are decided. This is the second video of this topic, so please watch part 1 if you have not already. In part 1, we covered how hotels are decided to be worth 0 stars to 3 stars. If you were impressed by how much more effort a hotel has to put in just to move from 2 stars to 3 stars, you will be surprised by what a hotel has to do to achieve the highly coveted 7 stars. Make sure you stay till the end of this video to learn if an 8 stars hotel exists and how a 9 stars hotel is actually possible. Continuing from 3 stars hotels, we are starting to get real fancy with a 4 stars hotel. The difference between a 4 stars hotel and a 3 stars hotel is not drastic. Essentially, a 4 stars hotel does very similar to what a 3 stars hotel does, but they improve on each service. A 4 stars hotel is required to open the reception for 16 hours a day instead of 14 hours a day as we experienced with a 3 stars hotel. Not only does the lobby need to have seats available, but it must also come with beverages services. Bed linen is now changed twice a week instead of once a week, and not only are additional pillows provided, there must be different types of pillows for the guests to choose. Interestingly, only a 4 stars hotel and above are required to actually have an elevator servicing the hotel. Great news for those of us who feel climbing stairs is as tiring as others running a marathon. Overall, a 4 stars hotel may not have more services or facilities than a 3 stars hotel, but each service now comes with more options, more attention paid to it, and more effort put in by the staff. Comparing a 4 stars hotel to a 3 stars hotel is like comparing the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the iPhone 12. The features remain roughly the same, but you do get more cameras, a larger screen, better specification, and of course, a price tag that is worth your kidney. And now, let us take a tour around the luxurious and extravagant 5 stars hotel. Extravagance is the key word here. A 5 stars hotel does everything you would expect a hotel to do, but they go through the extra effort to cater to your comfort. One expects a hotel to have parking spaces, but a 5 star hotel not only provides that, they are required to also provide a valet service, so you don't even have to park your own car. Likewise, you would expect a hotel to have a comfortable bed, but a 5 star hotel goes the extra mile to meet the requirement of having the double beds be at least 2 meters in length and 1.8 meters in width. Again, we expect a hotel to have a breakfast buffet, but a 5 stars hotel is required to offer that same breakfast to you in your room via room service. Other requirements include a 24-hour beverages services via room service, 24-hour reception with real staff being physically present, and restaurants must be open every day of the week. As we can see, a 5 stars hotel takes no shortcuts, no breaks, no compromises, and caters to every needs and wants we could possibly dream of. This is like the same iPhone 12 Pro Max, except you've chosen to go with the largest 512GB memory, buying the latest wireless fast charging pad, the AirPod Pro, and all the other fanciful accessories that cost as much as your mortgage. Do you know what doesn't cost as much as your mortgage? Liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and turning on the bell notification to show your support for our hotel videos. In fact, it is completely free for you to do so, won't cost you a single penny, but will go a long way in helping us grow. Speaking of growth, did you notice how gyms, swimming pools, conference rooms, and other facilities we take for granted are actually not requirements under any of these hotels? Truth is, many hotels care more about providing facilities and services that guests will want rather than what the assessment criteria demands for. The assessment criteria is strict and rigid. A 3 stars hotel can never be a 4 stars hotel unless it puts a mini bar that sells overpriced chocolates in every room. This is because in order to be awarded 4 stars, you will need to meet all 95 minimum requirements, with the mini bar being one of the 95 requirements. However, having the mini bar adds little value to most guests as we would rather eat local delicacies than to snack on expensive sneaker bars. Such, the money spent on buying hundreds of minibars 
is better used in improving the Wi-Fi connection of each room. This may not be a requirement for 3 stars hotels and will certainly not earn the hotel the 4th star, but it will definitely improve the guest experience. Likewise, many facilities we look forward to such as swimming pools may not be required but hotels try their best to have them because guests really want them despite it not earning them any stars. Speaking of not earning any stars, 6 stars and 7 stars hotels do not actually officially exist. There is no official assessment for 6 stars and 7 stars. These stars are about as real as a 0 star hotel. They are simply marketing gimmicks. However, that is not to say that 6 stars and 7 stars hotels do not deserve their marketing title. You see, when a hotel is given 5 stars, it has to convince the European Hotel Stars Union that it is worthy of 5 stars. When a hotel tries to go for 7 stars, it has to convince the public that it is worthy of 7 stars. This means you have to create a spectacularly memorable and extravagant experience so that guests will be so impressed by your services and amenities, they will have no objection to you calling yourself a 7 stars hotel. One example is the Burj Al Arab in Dubai. The suites are covered in more gold than you can find in Donald Trump's bathroom. The bed sheets are probably made of Egyptian silk that Cleopatra herself will approve of. And you are only served the finest champagne and cuts of steak that puts Michelin star restaurants to shame. A hotel like this can then market itself to be 7 stars because no guests will be able to compare it to a 5 star hotel and think that a 5 star hotel provided a more luxurious experience. This is not just an iPhone 12 Pro Max with all the additional accessories. This is an iPhone 12 Pro Max that is covered in 24K gold and diamond crusted AirPods Pro, which is not too far away from the gold iPad you actually receive when you check into one of these 7 stars hotels. Finally, let's explore what it takes to be an 8 stars hotel. If you thought 7 stars is the highest number of stars any hotel has today, you would be wrong. The 7 stars Burj Al Arab in Dubai has also been promoted as the world's first and only 8 stars hotel. How is this even possible? Well, because it is just a marketing trick. They can claim however many stars they want as long as the people the hotel is marketed towards are convinced by the number of stars. It is likely that in the near future, the title of 8 stars hotel will be more common just like how 7 stars hotels have become more prevalent in recent years. When that time comes, hotel marketers will have to find an even more extravagant way to promote the service of a hotel and claim to be the world's first 9 stars hotel. A 9 stars hotel must be so impressive, one night in it has to be an experience that is truly out of this world. But just because it is difficult, doesn't mean hotel developers will stop trying to achieve it. This race for a 9 stars hotel will likely continue throughout human history. Perhaps the first 9 stars hotel will be the very first space hotel built on the moon or established on Mars. In a sense, that will truly be the first hotel to literally reach for the stars. But until then, we should stay realistic enough to know that we likely won't be able to even afford a 4 stars hotel without stealing their shampoo bottles. Leave a comment below to tell us where you think the first 9 stars hotel will be built. For more information on the specific requirements and scoring system for 1 star hotels to 5 star hotels, we have included a link in the description below. The scoring sheet is the official assessment criteria used by the European Hotel Stars Union from 2020 and onwards. In our opinion, it seems like a 3 stars hotel is the most worth it simply because they are the very first hotel class to provide a wide variety of services that are beyond your basic necessities. In addition, the large increase in the number of minimum requirements from a 2 stars hotel to a 3 stars hotel also means you're getting more bang for the buck. If you have wondered how hotel stars are decided, we hope you have learned the differences in requirements as we progress from 0 stars to 9 stars. Let us know in the comments below which hotel you feel is most worth your money. Here at The Concierge, we hope to become a hospitality YouTube channel that is worthy 
of your nine stars. Please consider subscribing to our channel so that you may support our content as we bring you even more videos about the hotel industry. We hope you have enjoyed your stay with us and here is the concierge checking out.